Good morning, everybody. I am in Kiev, Ukraine, and today is the official start of autumn. It's the first gloomy day, as you can tell by my jacket, which you probably haven't seen me wear in months now, maybe even over a year. But today, I'm gonna be doing something really not that fun. <laughs> but I'm gonna take you along on this journey for you to keep me company, for you to maybe have an adventure or two going through the Ukrainian bureaucracy that is getting, or trying to get, my driver license. I'll tell you more about it after you hop in the car. Dobry Oh, yeah, Johnny. All right, I have made it to the government building where hopefully I can get the first big step. It's a major step. It's the 083-0 medical exam. Let me go inside and explain what that is. This nice lady is helping me figure out if I'm ready to go. Because there's a line here, a ton of people. There's a line here, a ton of people. And guys, I'm over my head. I have no idea where to go for this. And no one seems to understand what I need. All right, I think this is supposed to be the queue, even though I don't really know how this line works, but good luck. Right, so after this guy, it's been about a half an hour in line. Uh, don't be done. This looks like some old Soviet library. Oh my god, guys, this is way more complicated than I thought. So after being alive for 45 minutes, she tells me that she can't do it here today. I have to go to the next building, four doors down, four buildings down, to get some blood tests. And then tomorrow I can come here and make an appointment with a psychiatrist. Who needs a psychiatrist to get a driver license? This is insane. All right, guys, I'm telling you right now, if you ever want to go through this madness, you need to bring a translator with you. Here's the building I'm going to go in. Luckily, my terrible Russian and some Google Translate has helped me so far. But today, I really wish I had an actual translator. so funny so she told me to go back to building 18 and I was like I was just there to tell me to come here so now she's calling someone to find out I will say that even though this bureaucracy has been a mess, they've been very polite and very friendly trying to help. She actually had to call three different people to try and get an answer. So now she told me to go on to, I think, room 13. I thought she said 13 floor, but there's only three floors. And do something and then come back here. Oh my gosh, this is complicated, guys. Room 313.
Oh my god, it's not week 13. <laughs> Somehow made it all the way to 312. That's a dentist. There's no 313 on the side, so now I gotta figure out what that is. It just has to be here, even though this is radioactive. This? My Russian is terrible. She said it's 301. on here. Don't be done. It's taking me an hour somewhere. We so far. That's it. Alright, so I think here I'm getting a drug test and maybe an alcohol test. But I'm not actually sure what I'm getting. I'm just trying to get as much as I can and hopefully it'll all add up to one Certificate form 083 slash O. Definitely P files. Okay. Alright, so normally I think they make us pay before we get the test, but it was just easier for them to give me the test first and trust me to go downstairs and pay, and I will, so I'll go downstairs now. I have noticed that in Ukraine they don't give bandages, like band-aids at all. They just like let you put these on the ground. Сколько это стоит? 59 плюс комиссия. Карта или наличные? Карта. Карта. Приват. А счет какой был? Приват. Приват. Хорошо. Ваше фамилия, имя Джен Джонни, правильно? Да. Так. Три снимем. Пас, спасибо. Was 64 green and total, it's like two dollars only. Wow, near door to go. All right, so now I'm gonna take this receipt back to the other building and hopefully we can do something today. If not, maybe tomorrow I have to come back. Okay, so on this short but uh, nice walk back, maybe it's time for me to explain why in the world I even want to get a Ukrainian driver license, anyways, especially if it's this much trouble because in the u.s the only medical exams you take is this little uh vision test that they give you at the end of the exam in the dmv so you don't even really need to go anywhere they just it just happens to be part of the progress here literally it's every test possible and you can't do it at a private clinic i offered to pay extra and they said nope you got to go with this process so hopefully be worth it and honestly, I don't even want to have a car. I was talking to my, my buddy Frank, and he was like, Johnny, do not get a car. He's like, one of the reasons why I have a private driver is just because I don't want to deal with the parking, getting cars towed, getting tickets, and having to deal with paying it. It's not even about the money. It's just about the hassle and time of what it takes. And then just getting your car service and having them completely rip you off or just throw terrible parts in there. So, yeah. All right, if it looks like we're walking back towards that building we just came from, because we are. <laughs> I just got a phone call saying, I'm sorry, but the car didn't go through or there was another payment that needs to be made or something. Luckily, everything's like within a block or two of each other, but it is kind of funny. I'm just glad it's not actually raining today. 
even though it is the start of fall or autumn as some of you would call it. Back to building 12. Oh, me? I forgot my card. Let's go watch it. <laughs> Yeah, Alright, so to continue the story, if it's such a pain in the butt to get a driver license and I don't even want to have a car anyways, why am I getting one? And it's only because, just in case, <laughs> like if I lose my license here, I'd have to go back to Texas to get another one. No way. There's no freaking way. Even like when I go back to the US, I don't even really go to Texas. I just visit my parents in San Francisco for like two weeks and then fly back out. So for me to have to go all the way there to potentially take another photo or take another driving test, it's just a pain in the butt. And the American driver license actually sucks around the world because unless you go into like the AAA to get a international driver license every six months, they're useless. You can't even drive with them. The Ukrainian one is actually somehow better. I think you could actually drive in like Turkey and uh, in parts of the EU with the Ukrainian driver license. So I figure might as well get it while I am here. And we are back. And there's the line again. Just uh, both the shelves, sir. Yeah. All right, guys, here's the update. So, I did the blood test. Hopefully, that's all the blood test stuff I need. Tomorrow, she made me an appointment at 4 30 p.m. to see a psychiatrist. I have no idea what she's going to ask me and if it's going to be in English or not. But, I mean, it literally just might be in Ukrainian or Russian. I'm like, duh, show her the show. I'm not crazy. And then I have to come back and make another appointment. She says it might take three days for this procedure. Three days. So, see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, it's day two of my annoying adventure. It's such a tour to go to this bureaucracy that my buddy Bold. It's not even coming with me to the psychiatrist. I'm not coming with you. Why would I do that? I've got other things to do. I'm busy. You're the world's best translator. Well, I'm not in Ukraine. <laughs> see? See? <sighs> Hold up. So, Paul's gonna hang out in my apartment while I go and see a Soviet psychiatrist Ooh. that'll hopefully sign me off and give me the form I need. So, let's go. Good luck. Udachi! Paul, sure you don't want to come? Last chance. Yeah, I've got things to do here to go see. I'm quite happy. I've got me the view, got beer. I've got my computer, I'll be alright. Alright. See you soon. Cheers. So we're just driving up Kiev's steepest hill on our way back to the hospital. So I'm back here at the bloody government hospital. I don't know why I say bloody, I'm gonna hang out a ball too much. <laughs> I'm back here at the government hospital here in Kiev and I have to go see a psychiatrist. I mean, I guess I need to be sane if I want to drive a car, but you don't have to see a psychiatrist in the US to get your bloody driver license. Here we go. I'm gonna find room 407. Four zero seven. Maziente. Five four zero six E four zero seven. I wonder if I should just go in. Just a Um, why are you coming? Oh, for driver license. I need a um, license. Yeah. Uh, your passport? Yeah. And where do you live? I'm living here. Yeah, you live in. Uh, 
Address. Oh, uh, Bassinia. Bassinia. Fiat. Bassinia Fiat. Ja. So, was ist für Driven? Yes. Okay. I ask you some questions. Okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, you be in the army in the no. USA? Never. Uh, because uh, you don't uh, want, or because you're. Uh, uh, it's not, not necessary to. Uh, I also don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> It's not mandatory. Actually, in Ukraine, is it mandatory? Then they have to go. Yeah. Everybody. Everybody. For how long? Uh, from uh, 16 uh -huh. uh, for uh, 27. Uh -huh. You must go to army one year. Really? Everybody? All men. Or if you education uh -huh. and your education go to uh, 27 years, uh -huh. you can. Don't go. This is why everybody gets their master's degree. <laughs> <laughs> <That's my guess. laughs> Do you have headache? No. Pain? Headache pain? No. no. Vomiting? Bleeding? No. no. Uh, Do you know what is the epilepsy? Yes. Yes? With the crazy lights, yes. Yeah. yeah. Do yeah. you have it? Uh, and uh, uh, your parents? Or no. no? Uh, have you extraordinary abilities? <laughs> no, I wish. Guys, I lied. I do have extraordinary powers. I have the power to make you subscribe, <laughs> like, and comment on this video. Tell me if it worked. Uh, vegans or uh, no eating meat? Uh, no. Vegans or vegetarians? No. 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 But I think vegans are crazy. <laughs> A watch over you? What? Watch over you, some people. No. No. Don't feel like it's watch for you. Like uh, my grandparents or some dead people? Maybe? Or dead Bye. people? No, not in any way. <laughs> maybe on YouTube, since we're watching me. You're supposed to? Yeah. So big. That's why I'm supposed to do that. That's a question. <laughs> And sometimes you get somebody that comes in and you're like, okay, this guy is definitely in the like, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm not drinking! Yeah, no, no. Oh, yeah. And his face is uh, messed up and you, feel, you smell the breath. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, oh, you say this, but I, I, I think it's, <laughs> it's different. So we're almost done with the test, and I think I'm not crazy. Yeah? Yes. yes. Not crazy, huh? No crazy. Okay. Okay, okay good. <laughs> Are you quad? Are you quad? Single ladies, uh, hear that? Uh, yeah, Are you quad machine? Yeah. Doctor Sir. Are you machine? All right. So I got the forms. I got checked out by psychiatrist. Everything's okay. Now I gotta pay, and I gotta go down, stamp these forms. I gotta go back in the receipt. Here's where the Roxy kicks in again. But hopefully, that's it. But we'll see. It's probably more. By the way, he commented on my, on my uh, Rick and Morty sweater that he didn't think I was crazy. So it actually took way longer than I expected, but I got done. I paid the nice lady, and it was 310 grieve in total, which is $11. Very cheap for seeing a psychiatrist, even though I still don't know why I needed to see a psychologist. <laughs> So now we're going to 216, which is the cabinet of the or something. Just a chance to go again. All right, so I got my certificate stamped. Now I gotta go give this receipt to the doctor so he can get paid. Very nice doctor. Now I have these two stamped forms, but I don't know if this is actually you know, what I need. I need, I came for a certificate O slash something I don't remember now. So 
so awkward. There was like another woman in there. He was interviewing me asking like personal questions. Hi, like, are you crazy? Do you, how much do you drink? You know? And then I go in like, oh, here's a receipt that I paid the $11. <laughs> This is the worst system ever, guys. Why do I need to go and give them the receipt that I paid? Like, is that, like, why don't I just pay first? There must be a better way, guys. That's what I'm saying. So you guys remember this window? I'm back here again. I'm not sure which one to go to this time, but I'm gonna hopefully get the rest of my form. I don't know yet. Alright, it was this window. I don't know the difference. There's no signs on there or anything, but hopefully it'll work. Thank God there's not a long line. Alright, there's gonna be a day three guys. Let's go downstairs and let's play it. And it's gonna be taking trash out. I need this plastic thing so it doesn't get wet. So there's gonna be a day three. Tomorrow, so there's gonna be a day three. I don't know what the blood test I got yesterday is for. And I don't know why they didn't just give me both, like, all of the blood tests in one day. But either way, I have to be back at 9 a.m. tomorrow to get the final, hopefully, blood test that they'll give me this freaking driving certificate. Here's the crazy thing, guys. People need to do this every three years. Every three years, you have to waste three days of your life going back and forth to this place. How insane is that? Just to have a driver license? Imagine they made you do this in the US or Canada, wherever you guys are from, to go to the psychologist every three years and go back multiple days and stand in lines just to renew your driver license? That is insane. Ukraine, what is wrong with you guys? Why would anyone even want to drive here? Good morning, guys. Can you believe it is day three that I am at my favorite government building to hopefully get my test and this form finally so I can even apply for the driver license. Only good thing is today is a sunny, beautiful day. It's cold, but sunny and beautiful. I have my bag of documents. I'm gonna go inside and get my test. This morning there was like one million people waiting in line. I hope this isn't for what I need. Oh, she's nice enough to walk me upstairs. Let's see that post <laughs> I'm not really sure what's going on, but uh, she was nice enough to explain to the secretary what I need, and she's going to sit here, so I'm just hoping that she figures it out or she helps me out, but I see the uh, nurses coming now, so hopefully... Uh, that's going to be the one testing me. The only good thing about winning here is there's a cute turtle in her, uh, in her office. All right, so next stop. Fifth floor. Until my name is called, but not really. I'm not sure my restaurant is terrible. Okay, so let's see what I'm trying to adjust it to. Oh, what's 
Jest foto. Jest, tak, jest. Krystyna Boga. Boże Krystyna. <laughs> all right so they were super nice uh, it was funny because they made me take off my shirt to do this like a uh, stethoscope test and i thought she was telling me to cough so i kept saying like oh. <laughs> she's like and then maybe i was supposed to cough i don't know but then she was like no no stop coughing like breathe like <sighs> i wish i filmed for you guys but it was so embarrassing <laughs> I think I'm supposed to be following her. But she's off really fast. Okay. Is this? Okay, I wasn't supposed to follow her. I was like, why is she walking so fast? I'm gonna go back to the other office. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I could go. Yeah, uh, um. Huh? Yeah, no, no, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, next step. <laughs> Man, I am so lucky. I basically have like a personal nurse who's taking me step by step exactly where to go. It's funny because she actually doesn't speak any English, so it's not like she's translating, but it's just nice. Instead of them just telling me like, uh, you know, 216 or something. Like that, she's just walking me through and hopefully it's maybe speaking it up. Because there's definitely a ton of people being in line right now. All right, you are nervous. <laughs> All right, so finally time to make you some blood. I'm fasted, so I haven't had any breakfast yet. Done. Actually, we can use this uh, Soviet toilet real quick. Okay, sign on. So I'm not. Oh, fancy. Soviet toilet, guys. Whatever this says. All right, I'm all done. At least for the first time ever, they gave me a band aid. Kind of. Do they not? Does bandy belt exist in Ukraine? A serious question to Ukrainians. Do normal band-aids not exist? This just fell off, so I'm gonna put my sweater on. Alright, so we are back here. Once again. Alright, now I'm gonna cabinet number 20. Cabinet 20, or maybe 220?
Yes. Shortest uh, двадцать two different two one ten. Oh, спасибо большое. Two one ten, guys. Two one ten. Nine one ten. Nine one ten. Guys, I haven't never seen one of these except for like in movies. Спасибо большое. Дякую. All right, guys, so I am alive and I have reflexes. Спасибо большое, я дякую. All right, how many more tests are there? There's so many people waiting online. Okay, I met a Ukrainian, you've been through, you've done this before. Mm -hmm. Everyone has to do this. A psychologist, like uh, narco, like uh, why? Why is it so complicated? Well, it's mandatory. You need, you need to go through all tests to get your license. Do you know in America there's a no test, well, just like a one vision test, and that's it. Well, just the through the yeah. through here, unfortunately. But, but you, yeah. you don't need to do it every year. You need to do it once or several years in a row. But every three years you need to come back. Ah, yes, every three. It's a lot. We have a lot of such procedures, you know. Oh. And like, um, also for you, it takes like three, four days of coming, mm -hmm. or can you do it in one day? Yes, and you need to wait in line, I understand. It's so complicated, it feels like I've never waited in line so much in my life. <laughs> now, now you should be accustomed to Ukrainian reality. Oh my gosh. It's a normal procedure. So welcome to Ukraine, guys. If you want to come here, <laughs> wait yes. in lines a You lot. need to be prepared. Do you wait? <laughs> Спасибо. All right, so today I've gotten, I can't remember what test I've gotten now. <laughs> Got the reflex test, I got a blood test. Now she's taking me somewhere else for another test. When will this madness end, guys? This is like my torture. And I can't believe Ukrainians have to go through this every three years. Like four days of their life waiting in line every three years. That's insane. Like, maybe you can argue that in the US is too relaxed, where you don't need to prove that you're not a drug addict a drunkard or a you know, crazy person to get your license. You just need to prove that you're not blind. Actually, even if you're blind, you can just wear glasses. It just says <laughs> you need to wear glasses. But here it seems way over complicated, guys. Like way too much. Uh, yeah, I made a comment. That's it. All right, so we have some kind of problem. It is a wax, да? Да. Oh, okay. And... Это нужно вымыть, помыть okay. ухо. Это делаем мы, лоры, ну, то есть в смысле доктора. Mm -hmm. вот. Okay. Это вы можете пройти. Oh my gosh, how many more is it? It's possible. <laughs> Ophthalmologist, uh -huh. surgeon, and uh, therapist. Oh, at Manoga. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's <laughs> a lot. Okay, but uh, today I'm I passed. Yes. I'm yes, adequate, yes, Mashina. Yes. One hour, two hours. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> Jack, who are you? Goodbye. Bye-bye. All right, good news, bad news. Good news, bad news. Not dying. 
I have earwax. I was freaking out when she said something's wrong. I was like, oh my God, what's wrong? And then she showed me photos and used Google Translate and realized, oh, it's not that bad. Uh, but I have to come back at 9 a.m. tomorrow to get my ears cleaned. And I just found out I'm not done today. I still have three more doctors to see. I'm starving, guys. This is why this is here, probably. But this isn't real food. It's not gonna help. It's just gonna make me more hungry. <sighs> All right. And we are back to our favorite, Ina. That thing's online. All right, so today we are done. Um, I had a nice lady help me with my translation. But I have to come back tomorrow at 9 a.m. <laughs> I'm going to be here until at least 3 or 4. Because she says, I'm cleaning my ears at 9. And then I have to go see a surgeon, another psychiatrist, or like a therapist. And then hopefully, maybe, I'll finally be done with all this madness. God help me. <laughs> Guys, it is day four of me being this same freaking government office. I wish this was a joke. I wish that I had filmed all this in one day and I just made it look dramatic. But this is literally the fourth day in a row I've been coming here. It's 8 30 in the morning and I'm exhausted from going out last night. It's Saturday morning. I'm surprised we're even open today. But I have to do one final round. <coughs> checking that I'm not dying. Starting with getting my earwax removed, which actually I'm looking forward to because it's been clogged up. And then I have to go see like a surgeon, I have to go see something else, and then hopefully finally I can get this damn form. Oh. But first, I need some coffee. Maybe some water as well. Espresso pajalsta, no, but uh, chut chut uh, vada. Bez maliko. Uh, bez. Yeah. Thank you. All right, I got my coffee and I'll come and get some fruit a little bit later. It's market day. All right, guys, back to 310. Clean my ears. Good evening. Do you know you sit at the time of Yes, the appointment. Is this? Oh, this? A tea? Oh! Thank you. Wait. Good morning, do you know? So she's cleaning my ears now? <laughs> okay. Look at this crazy room I am in. So she's been cleaning my ears with water. A bunch of uh, crap fell out. This place like really feels very Soviet. Like, looks in this machine. Look at this thing. Is getting your ears cleaned like a normal thing that you do in the West or your country? Because I've never in my life had my ears cleaned in the US. In Thailand, I had to do it only because I was scuba diving. I had all this earwax buildup, which I think is still a problem. And why I have it now, I have this problem because I spent literally the equivalent of a month of my life underwater <laughs> in seawater. And so now my body just produces a ton of earwax. Uh, but I'm curious, like, does this happen to anyone else? Because obviously there was a guy right before me getting his ears cleaned as well. So I guess it happens to some people. But yeah, let me know. I'm super curious. Have you ever had your earwax, like, professionally cleaned? I'm not talking about this, like, hippie candle waxing or, like, 
you know, things at home. But like, is this a normal part of people's kind of like medical procedures? And are these crazy machines normal as well? I wish I could have shown you. She had like these crazy lights on and everything. Вымыла пробки, да, ты? Конечно. Что Ears are cleaned. Now it's time to go pay the bill. Guys, I'm so hungover from last night. I met up my buddy Kevin Shee from Hong Kong, who was visiting. He bought us all drinks. And my buddy David Swarner came in as well. We were drinking last night, and I feel so bad. And it's just like this maze of going back and forth. Like, you're the doctor, you'll pay for it. You gotta bring the receipt back to the doctor. It's such a weird system, guys. I just feel like I've been in this maze for the last four days, trapped in it. Just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. <sighs> All right, so now I think I have a 30 minute break and then you go to another building at 11 and knock on a door. <laughs> at least I'll have some time to have some food. Hopefully get over this hangover, guys. I'm so glad I didn't stay out later. I went home at one, but I had to wake up at eight, so it's still seven hours of just terrible drunken sleep. Note to self, building 12, third floor, first door on the right, knock. All right, where do we go? All right, it's exactly 11 now. I think I'm supposed to be in here, but it's locked and has a radiation thing on it. So hopefully this is that. Here we go, it's supposed to go bush, right? Sit down, let's go. Sure. All right, guys. All right, that took like two minutes to fill this out, and we're done. <laughs> I have no idea what that was for. Like, he literally came and asked me two questions. He asked me, show, head of show, which means everything good. And he said, show Robota. And he's like, your arms work? He's like, yeah. He's like, your legs work? I was like, yeah. He's like, okay. Sign, 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 stamp, stamp, stamp. That's that picture. <laughs> See you. Guys, I have mixed feelings about this. First, it's a complete waste of my time. And I think everybody's time, because I don't think any of this is necessary. <laughs> like, I guess it's necessary. Someone needs to have functioning arms and legs to be able to drive. But do you really need to go to a doctor? Like, Actually, I don't, you don't even need functioning legs. Like, plenty of people can modify their cars to drive. I feel like these were kind of just givens, all right? I think the only thing you should you should check is people's eyesight. Like, can you, can you see? And then give them a driving test. Like, can you drive? Like, that's enough. <laughs> like, why do you care about anything else? Like, oh my God, this is crazy. I can't believe I spent four days of my life Going from office to office, waiting around just to get something s stamped. Like just for a doctor to say, show her to show, show Ramota. And he's like, I, see, I guess in his mind, he's like, okay, I saw you walk into the room and like knock something over her and pick it up. You're probably functional. <sighs> I don't know, my favorite lady is gone. Maybe I'll just on break or something. I have no idea what to do next. Oh, thank God she's back. She's been like such a lifesaver. 
think it's time for my eye exam. Oh, my story looks not very good. <laughs> Luckily, they didn't ask me to recite the alphabet because my sphere looks really terrible. <laughs> so they had me do the C's. So it was like, which way does the C face? And that worked. And then they gave me like a, a book wrapped in a C. Like there's there's two colors or something, right? Like green pops out or blue pops out or something. And then I just said numbers and my numbers suck. <laughs> so that luckily they figured it out. So it turns out, passed at 100% vision test. And I'm not colorblind. I think even though most men are, but I was able to see the colors. So now I have a few hours break, and then hopefully it's the last test. Hopefully. P test. What, please, Austin? Guys, after four days, okay. finally, <laughs> finally, I am adequate guy. <laughs> Okay. I got my certificate and he's gonna keep this for 25 years. Woohoo! Yeah. 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 <laughs> Guys, you're not freaking believe this. I almost had to come back for a fifth day in a row. Thank goodness that doctor was super cool and he spoke English. He let me kind of uh, slide on a few things. So basically, they forgot to do the urine test and normally they would have to schedule it again for the next day and like wait another day. But he was like, look, I'll just call the guys, just go there right now, real quick. So you got me the appointment right away, perfect. Another thing was one of the receipts, they gave me the white copy instead of the yellow copy that I paid for, but like it really doesn't matter. And then there was, I forgot to bring another photo. And luckily we were able, able to salvage one of my photos from another document. Oh my gosh, because if it wasn't for those three things, I would have had to come back for a fifth day. How insane is that? How do Ukrainians take four days off of work or five days off of work every, just to get a freaking driver license or renew the driver license every three years? Who does that, guys? Yeah, on one hand, it's nice that people get health checks and it was very cheap. Like in total, it was probably like $30, right? But it's hard to know because if you guys saw, Instead of just paying for everything in one bill, you literally pay for each test, you go to the cashier, you pay it, you bring the receipt back to the person that gave you the test. If we go to the next test. It's like the most inefficient system ever. Like this is like old Soviet bureaucracy that still exists in Ukraine today that needs to be changed. Like, or guys, here, here's the easy part. Have an option for someone to go to a private clinic Instead of paying thirty dollars, they can pay one hundred fifty dollars or one hundred dollars, and they can do it all in one day or half a day. Why is that not an option? Just let us pay for faster, easier service. But either way, I passed my Soviet medical test. This little piece of paper right here is four days of work of coming to this office four days in a row. I got here at 9 a.m. today and it's already 4 p.m. It's basically the entire day of my life here. I've done this for four days in a row, guys. It's exhausting. So next step is I'm gonna apply for my driver license and hopefully I get it. Because if not, if I don't, this would have been all for nothing. So subscribe to this channel. Leave some comments below on what your thoughts are. How hard is it for you to get a driver license in the country that you uh, grew up in or you live in? And what tests there are besides the eye test, which is the only one we have to do in the US. See you guys in the next one. Hi right, guys, I'm just chilling here on a swing with my boy, Alex. Hi. And he explained to me why it's so difficult to get these medical tests. Yeah, uh, actually the reason why it's so difficult is because, uh, you know, like, um, like they make it deliberately so complicated so you would have to pay uh, you would be willing to pay rather than just go through the through the whole process they apply yes in Ukraine have you heard of such a thing no. nobody pays price surely no <laughs> surely nobody does this yeah
So, are you willing to do it? I would have done it for sure. Because nobody asked. Like, I actually, I, I didn't know who to bribe. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh. Maybe, maybe you will, you will find the, the right person. They will tell you. God, for four days of my life, I would have happily paid 50 bucks. Because it probably cost me like $30 anyways. Yeah. Actually, it cost me like $30 in Ubers going back and forth. Yeah, so that's why, yeah, it's, it's not going to be that price. Oh, God. Guys, next time, just let me know who to pay, who to pay off. It's not me. <laughs> or, or fix the system so people don't have to pay bribes anymore. Do one or the other, I don't care, but just fix one of them. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you.